here in the Penrith op shop, uh, which is doing brisk business and welcoming a lot of people who come in here not only to buy things, but also to have a good chat and just at this time of the year to have a mince pie and a sweet as well. This year, the, the Church of England is conducting what might be described as a marketing exercise. It's called Follow the Star. You may have come across it. And it's a reference, of course, to the star that those wise men from the East followed when they came to find the baby Jesus in a manger in Bethlehem. And the idea is that this year, each of us should follow our own star in order to find Jesus and to meet him for ourselves. But of course, that raises a very interesting question. When those wise men found Jesus, they presented him with a number of gifts. One of them gave him gold as a sign that he was a king. One of them gave him frankincense as a sign that he was a god to be worshipped. And a third one gave him myrrh, uh, prefiguring his crucifixion and his death for every one of us on the cross. So the question this raises is, what can we give him? Well, let me offer a suggestion. God becoming a human being in Jesus shows us that God is giving us his full and complete attention. And what he wants in return from us is our attention too. So the suggestion is that perhaps this year we give God the attention that he deserves and try to listen to what he may be saying to us, maybe through a carol service or a crib service or a Christingle service. It may be through a neighbour or a friend. It may be just something that occurs to us as we're trying to listen to what he says and as we're out in the hills. But perhaps we can extend that a little further to the attention we offer to one other person over Christmas. It may be a relative who we find a bit annoying. It may be a neighbour. It may be somebody who comes to see us. Whoever it turns out to be, one of the things that will give God most pleasure is us giving our rapt and complete attention to one other person, that person who's been made in his image and who's loved completely by him, just as we are. I heard it said, uh, the other day that the best gift we can give to anybody is our rapt attention. So just as it says in that lovely carol in the bleak midwinter, what can I give him, poor as I am, there's a possible answer. We can give God our attention and we can give the people around us our attention as well. May you have a very happy and blessed Christmas.